Have you ever wanted to step into the microscopic world and see what's beyond the naked eye? Well, Venus Optics has just come out with their new Lawa Aragon FF 10-50X NA 0.5 Super Micro APO lenses. These lenses allow you to photograph all the creepy crawlies you'd like at up to 50 times magnification. Microscopic photography can sometimes feel a bit out of reach with all the tech surrounding it. You have microscopes, attachments, and then the price tag that comes along with it. However, Venus Optics Super Micro lenses open the door to making bio art right at home in an amazingly simple and accessible way. These Super Micro lenses are full frame compatible and as of this recording come in eight different mounts. This allows you to utilize the camera gear you already know and love, as well as yielding better quality images. These lenses have a numerical aperture, NA, ranging from 0.15 to 0.5, which controls your depth of field just like photography's f-stop. This wide aperture is critical for microscopic photography as it helps you use a higher shutter speed. Higher shutter speeds are necessary because any sort of camera shake is incredibly visible at such a close distance. So you'll need an extremely sturdy setup. If you're just starting out, you're going to at least need a stable tripod. You may need to do a little trial and error to find the setup that works for you, depending on your shooting location. In an effort to further reduce any camera shake, Venus Optics has included additional lens tube slip rings. These go right onto the lens itself and are tightened with the Allen wrench provided. They also have a quarter 20 thread mount so they can be attached right to your tripod. I would also highly recommend getting a macro focusing rail for these lenses. Although you could technically get away with moving your camera or subject back and forth to focus, just save yourself a headache and get a focusing rail. Here we have our Venus Optics lenses set up in our studio to shoot some images of, you guessed it, bugs. And some other fun things as well. The lens body is made up of two parts, the switchable magnification tubes 10 through 50 and the objective lens that screws right onto the front that has your apertures. We're also using the lens tube slip rings which are attached right to our focusing rail. All four magnification lenses have a fixed focal distance of 20 millimeters, and we're also using a couple of small lights to help illuminate our subject. Now that we're all set up, let's get up close and personal with some of these bugs. We were able to get some exciting images during our shoot. It's truly spectacular to be able to view your subject this close. Here you can see the difference between 10, 20, 35, and 50 times magnifications, photographing only the year on this dime. With our 50 times magnification, it's so close that we can't even fit the number in frame. And our bugs here sat still long enough for a portrait, even though they didn't really have a choice. There's one other crucial thing that you need while doing microscopic photography that I haven't even gotten to yet. That is patience. No matter how sturdy your setup is, you may still experience camera shake or have some difficulties focusing on your subject. Lighting can also be a challenge when you're this close to your subject and using a long lens. I personally found that the 40 and 60 watt light were effective and easy to maneuver around, but you may find a better way for your specific shooting location. Again, it may just take some troubleshooting to find what works best for you, but don't be discouraged. Venus Optics makes microscopic photography a bit more accessible with their series of super micro lenses. They'd honestly be great for anyone from beginners to seasoned professionals in microscopic art. So if you're a biology nerd looking to embrace your creative side, these could be a great way to dip your toe in. And to all the ants watching this, get ready for your close up. But what botanical items would you photograph with the Lawa Aragon super micro lenses? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Sam with B&H and I'll see you next time.